Hey y'all, welcome to Ms. Clark's chemistry class. This is part two to solving problems using the speed of light. This time we're gonna bring energy into the mix. So we're going to use energy, which is measured in joules. We're going to use frequency, which is measured in hertz. We're also going to use something called Planck's constant. It's kind of got a crazy unit. We'll look at that in just a second. So let's just go ahead and jump into a problem. Let's look at this example. Now these problems are going to differ from the last set of problems because we are not talking about the speed of a light wave anymore. We're talking about the energy of a light wave. We know that this is an energy problem because joules, capital J, that is an energy unit. What is the frequency of a 1.31 times 10 to the negative 22nd joule wave? Since we have a new problem, we have a new formula. Energy is equal to Planck's constant times frequency. And this is what that formula looks like. E for energy, H is for Planck's constant, and then we still have Greek letter nu for frequency. Let's set this problem up. We just put the numbers in the spots where the variables are. In energy spot, I put 1.31 times 10 to the negative 22nd joules. In H's spot, remember that's Planck's constant, that number is going to be given to us just like the speed of light was given to us. 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34. Since we're solving for frequency, we left in Greek letter nu. We want it to say frequency equals. Let's rearrange this so it can say that. Frequency equals the energy divided by Planck's constant. And remember how to type in scientific notation into the calculator. If you don't, just click that link for the video. This next example is a tad bit more involved. We're gonna take two formulas and merge them together but it's still gonna be a breeze. Let's go ahead and give that one a try. This example is a little bit more complex because it says what is the wavelength of a 7.65 times 10 to the negative 17 joule wave? Let's look at this problem closely. The unit joule tells us we need to use our energy formula. When we look at this energy formula, there's no wavelength. We're gonna to have to combine two formulas. We need to look at the speed of light formula and the energy formula. If you look at both of the formulas, what links them together is frequency. They both have Greek letter nu in them. We can solve the speed of light formula for nu and then insert that into the energy formula to make one formula. Here we see if we solve the speed of light formula for frequency, it's going to be the speed of light divided by the wavelength. We still have our energy formula here. Let's put all of this together. So here's our new derived formula. Now we're ready to input our numbers. We need to rearrange this to say wavelength equals. We use our algebra skills. We multiply both sides by wavelength and then divide by the energy. And this is the way our new formula looks. Planck's constant times the speed of light divided by our energy. Remember our energy is our given number, three sig figs, Let's put this in the calculator, and when we get our answer, we need to round it to three sig figs. You should have just been able to put all that straight into the calculator. Order of operations will straighten that out all for you. And we get wavelength is equal to 2.60 times 10 to the negative nine meters. We just put those two formulas right together and made one big formula. I find that some people like to merge those two formulas and make a big formula, but I also find that a lot of people don't like to do that and just solve one little problem and put that answer right into the second problem to get your final answer. If that works better for you, definitely do that. Leave me a comment and let me know what version works best for you. Are these videos helping you? I really, really hope so. The thing is, is I wanna help even more people and the only way I'm going to reach more people is if you're pressing the like button, if you're subscribing or if you're leaving a comment. I really love spending time with you. Until next time, bye y'all.